Megyn Kelly decided that she would talk to Bill O'Reilly about Sandra Fluke, and she's so livid about the fact that Sandra Fluke has become this victim in the media. So she addresses that in this video. Let's watch. Ms. Fluck would have the world believe that she is somehow a victim because she is at Georgetown Law School and is not getting her contraception paid for by the law school. When I went to law school, which I put myself through for $100,000 of debt, I didn't expect any, anybody to pay for my health insurance, which I had none of, no health insurance. And never once did I think of myself as a victim who needed somebody else to step in and pay for those things for. The reason why she's been cast as this victim is not because she's testifying and saying that insurers, employers, universities should pay for birth control. It's because she was called a slut and a prostitute for absolutely no reason at all, okay? and and. Rush Limbaugh completely attacked her, and you guys all know that already. But the thing is, like, Megyn Kelly sounds so extremely bitter in that video. Like, nobody paid for my health insurance, why should they pay for yours? Why should you get contraception? Because it's gonna help with medical costs here in the United States. It's gonna get rid of unwanted pregnancies, or it's gonna prevent unwanted pregnancies, I should say. That's gonna be great for the country, and it's gonna be great for something that you guys are in favor of, which is the prevention of abortions. A couple of things. First of all, um, Sandra Fluck is not acting like a victim. She is just testifying as to what uh, she and other people in her position need covered by medical insurance. Mm -hmm. That's not being a, a victim, just being an advocate for a, for a particular cause. So let, let's move beyond that. But Megyn Kelly, I don't understand her. She's a clown because um, she was actually very reasonable back in August of, mm -hmm. of past year when uh, Mike Gallagher, a right-wing talk show host, attacked Megyn Kelly for running a racket. The racket being, she took time off after she had a baby. Is maternity <laughs> leave, according to you, a racket? Yeah, for, well, do men get maternity leave, Megan? I, I yeah. can't believe I'm asking you Guess this. Guess what, honey? Gonna they do. Me. Yes, they do. It's called no, the Family really? Medical Re Leave Act. If men would like to take right. three months off to go take care of their newborn baby, they can. All right, let me give you an explanation. I was drinking that day. I, I was I was. Now a you're drunk, more along and, the path uh, I expected. I, I, <laughs> just in case bit, you didn't know, little... just in case you didn't know, Mike, yes. I want you to know that the United mm. States is the only country in the advanced world that doesn't allow paid, doesn't, doesn't require paid maternity leave. Now, I happen to work for a nice employer that gives me paid maternity leave, but virtually yes, no, do. but the United States is the only advanced country that doesn't require paid leave. If anything, the United States I, is I... in the dark ages when it comes to maternity leave, and what is it about getting pregnant and carrying a baby nine months that you don't think deserves a few months off so bonding and recovery can take place. Hmm? See? I, uh, I love that. In that video, she calls uh, Mike Gallagher a pinhead mm -hmm. and considers his views moronic. Those are her words. And then she goes on and says that the U.S. is in the dark ages because the U.S. does not give paid leave. Mm -hmm. So she's advocating that we uh, pay for maternity leave but not for contraception. So no, it, no, it's, no. it's a I, massive... I, level of hypocrisy, but the thing is, I don't even think she really believes it. I, I don't know, is it because she's being paid? Because I don't believe that Megyn Kelly is a, a crazy right-wing person. She I says crazy right-wing things, but if we, were to, if we sat down and had, had drinks, I think she'd be very reasonable. So maybe it's just the environment that she's in over there at Fox News mm -hmm. that causes her to say these ridiculous things. Absolutely. I mean, look, she wants to keep her job, and Fox News obviously has an agenda. But also, another thing that I truly believe with Megyn Kelly is that she's out for her own self-interest. If it's something that affects her, if you're criticizing something she did, well, then all of a, all of a sudden the country isn't progressive enough, right? Well, but if it doesn't affect her, if it fact, affects people who don't make enough money to pay for their health insurance, well, fuck them. Who cares about them? Well, if you, if you um, attack her, then you're a pinhead and you're being moronic. Yes. Um, but if you advocate in front of Congress for health care rights for women, then you're being a victim and a crybaby. Yes. It's unbelievable. It really is. Now, in this next video, she says, look, Sandra Fluke is part of the elite. What the hell is she whining about? Let's watch. Guess what the starting salary is if you graduate from Georgetown Law School? The average starting salary, our viewers may not know this, $160,000 a year for your first year out of law school. These are not victims. These are the elite. These are the luckiest young professionals okay, you among know. them in our country. Okay, but Sandra Fluck's position is not that she and her um, fellow law students are the only ones who should be entitled to have um, coverage for contraception. Yes. Her, she's advocating for a class of women who are at religious institutions who want institutions to cover 
or not the institutions actually, but to allow the institutions to allow their insurance companies who want to cover it to go ahead and cover it. Right, but that goes right over Megyn Kelly's head. Because no, I, see, her, I don't think it does. I think it I does. I don't think it does. She's like, wait a minute. It doesn't even cross her mind that someone could be advocating for something that would help people who are maybe not in the same, you know, financial class or, you know, I no. income group <laughs> as, as she is. Here, here's what I think is going on. So Fox News, they have an agenda. Now, when Rush Limbaugh attacks Sandra Flock, it's bad, right? He's a big, fat, old guy. He's a bully. No one, no one likes it. No one likes it. But when Megyn Kelly attacks Sandra Fluck, she's an attractive young woman, not unlike Sandra Fluck in many regards. So when she does it, then she's not a bully. And in fact, then, women, then other people can say, well, she's a good woman, and Sandra Fluck is a bad woman. So I think that's the agenda that Fox News is, is setting up. I don't believe for a second that Megyn Kelly thought on her own, I'm going to attack Sandra Fluck because I hate what she stands for, and I attack her on every single show I can. Hmm. It just seems like nonsense to me. Well, it, that's a little conspiratorial. It I is. Mean, it's, not, it is. it's not too far-fetched, right? But it is a little conspiratorial. The difference, of course, between Megyn Kelly and Rush Limbaugh is not just their appearance and the fact that Rush Limbaugh is a man. Look, Megyn Kelly, even though I don't agree with her at all, she didn't just say degrading things about Sandra Fluck. Like, she had you know, whatever, in her mind, reasoning as to why she doesn't agree with Sandra Fluck and doesn't see her as a victim, the delivery was everything. And she delivered her thoughts in a very respectful way, in my opinion. Okay, um, I, and as I mentioned, I don't agree with her, but she's on a completely different level as Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh is such a clown. Yes. And th there's no defending what he said. I yeah, mean, but, you couldn't even defend But look, I mean, Megyn Kelly, uh, you know, she went to law school. She's a smart person. She can figure out the obvious logical inconsistency in her argument that the government should pay for people to take leave after having a baby for three months mm -hmm. for bonding and recovery, according to her. But the government should not pay for, um, for contraception, a pill that women need, not just for birth control, but also for other health reasons. That's just a fraction of the cost of paying for someone to be off for three months. Mm -hmm. So she understands that. And I just can't believe that she's attacking on Sandra Fluke on these bases. You know, it's funny, you, you're giving Megyn Kelly a tremendous amount of credit. Uh, I think that Megyn Kelly is just self-absorbed and she can't see past her own self-interest. If it affects her, then it's a problem. If it doesn't affect her, well, who the hell cares? That's my takeaway from it. You know what, I mean, you might be right. I just have a hard time believing that people can be so fucking... Hateful. Hateful and stupid and self-absorbed and hypocritical, but maybe they are.